Let's look at some examples of solving systems of equations by the method of elimination. So I'm looking at exercise 14 in section 6.4, which is on page 486. And 14 has the following system. y minus x equals 2, followed by the equation y plus x equals 9. Well, this is a pretty obvious example of one that should probably be solved by elimination. Substitution isn't that bad because it would be easy to solve equation 1 for y or solve equation 2 for x or y. But all we have to do with elimination is eliminate x by simply adding equations 1 with equation 2. Oops. Eliminate x. And we will do that by taking equation 1 and adding it to equation 2. Granted, you don't have to rewrite this kind of scratch work that I'm doing here. Uh, I'm simply doing this for instructional purposes to try to make my steps very clear to you. When we add up these two equations, y plus y is 2y, and by design, minus x plus x cancel, so we don't even need to write them. 2 plus 9 is 11, so we see that y is equal to 11 over 2, or 5.5, no, 5 halves. Excuse me, uh, 5 and a half, rather. So next we could eliminate y by subtracting equation 1 from equation 2, or we can take the probably more familiar route of simply back substituting. even though this is a bit more tedious because in this case we're going to have to uh, deal with a bit of arithmetic with fractions in it. It doesn't really matter which one we substitute in for one or two it's about the same difficulty so I'll pick two so we have not y but now 11 over 2 plus x equals 9. And to get x by itself, we will need to subtract 11 over 2 from both sides. And we can think of 9 as being 9 over 1. And we need to think of it this way because we're going to need to combine fractions. The lowest denominator, common denominator, between 1 and 2 is 2. So multiply 9 over 1 by 2 over 2 to get 18 over 2 and we have that x is 7 over 2 and y is 11 over 2 as we saw earlier. Next let's look at problem 18 where the system is 3x plus y equals 5 followed by the equation 2x plus y equals 4 now if we're solving this by elimination the easiest way to go about this is to start by eliminating y and taking equation 1 minus equation 2. That's going to be fairly easy. But I'm going to take a bit more difficult route. That's simply because I want to show you how 
elimination works in situations that aren't as convenient as 14 or 18. So I'm going to choose the harder route. You clearly do not have to do this. I'm simply doing this to provide uh, more thorough examples. So we need to look at a number which 3 and 2 divide evenly into. And that number is 6. So we're going to want to make one of these you know, a plus 6x and one of these a minus 6x. So we can do that by, let's say, taking equation 1 and multiplying by minus 2 and then taking equation 3 or <laughs> equation 2 and multiplying it by 3. We could have done equation 1 times positive 2 and equation 2 times minus 3. That's arbitrary and it really doesn't make a difference in the difficulty whatsoever. So minus 2 times equation 1 is minus 6x minus 2y equals minus 10. And then 3 times equation 2 is 6x plus 3y equals 12. You know you've done the elimination properly if the end result of this combination of equations doesn't include the variable you're trying to eliminate. So if we don't have any x's, we did it right. At least we did this first step right. So minus 6x plus 6x is 0x. We have successfully eliminated x. So whatever we get here, we're on the right step. Minus 2y plus 3y, that's 3y minus 2y, which is just 1y or y. Then 12 minus 10 or minus 10 plus 12 is 2. So we see that y equals 2 and we can go back to a familiar substitution to find out what x is. And again, it doesn't really matter what we plug into. You know, 1 or 2, they'll both be about as difficult. Last time I picked Two. This time, let's pick 1. So we know y equals 2, so the equation now will read 3x plus 2 equals 5. Now, to get x by itself, we'll start by undoing the addition. We'll subtract 2 from both sides and end up with 3x equals 3. Then we can divide by 3 and get x equals 1. So the correct answer is that x equals 1 and y equals 2. Let's do one more, but in this case where it's, uh, it's not so clear which variable we should be using to eliminate. So let's next look at exercise 20. 20 has a starting with the equation 2x minus 4y equals 5, followed by the equation 3x plus 5y equals minus 6. If we're solving this by elimination, there's no clear right answer. You know, we've been doing a lot of 2x's and 3x's and multiplying by 3 and the other by 2, you know, one with a different sign. Let's try the y's instead this time. It really makes no difference. They're going to be about as equally as hard. So if we eliminate y, we need to find a number into which 4 and 5 divide. 
nicely. So that would be 20. Now, they already have a different sign. So if I multiply equation 1 by 5, I need to label these equations, and equation 2 by 4, then let's see what I get. I'm going to get 10x minus 20y equals 25, then 12x plus 20y equals minus 24. Will I end up with a new equation in which y's are eliminated? Yes, because there's a different sign, when I add these two things together, they will end up canceling. You know, getting these two numbers, the 4 and the 5, now to become 20, the different signs will take care of the cancellation. I don't need to introduce different signs here. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Just a case-by-case -case basis. In any way, 10x plus 12x is 22x. As I mentioned, the y's cancel. 25 minus 24 is 1. And so I get that x equals 1 over 22. Now let's back substitute, um, I think, using equation 1 this time might be a little bit simpler because I can do a bit of cancellation with the 2 and the 22. So in equation 1, we'll have 2 times 1 over 22 minus 4y equals 5. Now this will be, I can write 2 as 2 over 1. 2 goes into 22 11 times. So this becomes 1 over 11 minus 4y equals 5. Then I have minus 4y equals 5 over 1 minus 1 over 11 and doing a bit of scratch work here the common denominator is 11 so multiplying top and bottom of 5 over 1 by 11 I'll get 55 over 11 minus 1 over 11 that will be 54 over 11 and then dividing by minus 4, well, dividing by minus 4 is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, by minus 1 over 4. And this will be nice because it turns out 4 goes into 54 uh, rather nicely. Not entirely, but there is a bit of cancellation that can be done here. Let's see. 2 goes into 4 twice and into 54 how many times? It's going to be 27 times. So we get minus 27 divided by 22. So we have x being 1 over 22 and y being minus 27 over 22.